Decoding the sentence glue. Unraveling conjunctions. Hello, language explorers. Today, we're diving into an interesting part of English grammar that ties our thoughts together, just like glue. Conjunctions. These little words play a huge role in constructing our sentences, and by the end of this video, you'll understand what they are and how they work. Let's get started. First things first. What are conjunctions? Conjunctions are words that connect clauses, sentences, words, or phrases together. They are the glue that holds our ideas together and ensures our sentences flow smoothly. Without them, our sentences can sound disjointed or awkward. Some common conjunctions you might already be familiar with include words like and, but, or so, because, although, yet, and while. Understanding that there are different categories of conjunctions can make them easier to learn. They fall into three primary categories, coordinating conjunctions, subordinating conjunctions, and correlative conjunctions. 1. Coordinating conjunctions. They connect words, phrases, or clauses of equal importance. The most common ones are and, but, and, or. 2. Subordinating conjunctions. They connect a main, independent, clause and a dependent clause. Examples include, although, because, since, and, while. 3. Correlative conjunctions. These work in pairs to link equal grammatical items. Examples include, both, and, either, or, neither, nor, and, not only, but also. To really understand conjunctions, it helps to see them in action. Here are some examples. 1. Coordinating. I want to play soccer, but it's raining outside. 2. Subordinating. I love to read books because they allow me to explore new worlds. 3. Correlative. Neither the cat nor the dog wanted to play with the toy. Notice how in each example, the conjunction connects ideas together and makes the sentence flow smoothly. And there you have it, the essentials of conjunctions in English. Remember, these little words are like the glue that holds our sentences together. The more you practice, the easier it will be to understand and use them. As always, keep exploring, keep learning, and let's continue to decode the English language together. See you in our next video.